So we're going to dive a little bit into the journal now because the purpose of the journal is to really create that alignment or that flow through the ego, Mm -hmm. not giving permission for the ego to kind of cut off that connection between us. But we also need to know what our what our soul is and what our ego is. And so that's a key component of this journal. It's identifying, you know, what are the characteristics and the traits of our soul, just that we've noted from, you know, time, experience, people's reports. And what are the aspects that are ego so that we can clearly identify when ego is driving and when the soul is driving because both are necessary and we talked about that in the first one it's not as though our ego should always be taking the back seat Mm -hmm. there are times when the tool of ego is very very necessary so when then is it the appropriate tool to use and when does it become a weapon or just not the right tool for the job Mm -hmm. Right, and so that's a focus. So when we get to the steps to get started on the journal mm-hmm. or contained within it, it walks you through each and every step that you can create using this journal. And first is that understanding of the soul and the ego. Second is knowing your current state. So where are you now in accordance with each of those categories? between the soul and the ego. Mm-hmm. So that's that. the different aspects that we talked about, of vulnerability, right? Authenticity, this is where all of those tools that you've practiced up till now really come into play because we have to be willing to be authentic with ourselves, to be vulnerable and look at, okay, where am I really in these categories? And to, you know, we're asking you to do it on a percentage basis, right? So we're not asking you to get really down to the letter of this is where I'm at right now to the nth degree. It's like, okay, so maybe 30% of the time I'm here and 70% of the time I'm here. 30% of the time I'm in soul, 70% of the time I'm in ego. (laughs) I want that to change. I feel my, and that's the next step, I feel where I would like to navigate to, my goal state, for the majority of the time. Now, there will always be exceptions to that rule, Mm -hmm. but for the majority of my time, I would rather have that in reverse, where 70% of the time I'm executing from the soul state, and 30% of the time I'm executing from the ego state. And so then you can develop a plan, and then that is your fourth and your fifth step. Mm -hmm creating your daily plan and your action steps to get from where you are now to where you desire to be. So very clear and how you've used it and do those, is there anything that comes up for you in that way where you're like, Hmm, that's awesome. Or "Hmm, that's not something I've done, or this is how we could enhance it. Anything like that or, um, at this time, I feel I feel it's a strong starting point for a lot of people. I mean, really, what this what I feel this journal is all about is building a foundation centered on awareness. Most of us are just not aware of of where we are with our ego. You know, Eckhart Tolle is great in how he describes. You know, one of, I think one of the first things uh, you shared the book, The Power of Now. That was one of the first books I read on this personal trans- transformation journey for me. And, and what really hit me was uh, it's like one of the first things he was really struggling in life and he shared, I am not happy with myself. And he took the time to sit on that for hours and hours, you know, well, if I am not happy with myself, that means part of me can shift. That means the I is the, is the very essence of me, you could say the soul in the myself is the one that has the ability to shift and alter. That might be the ego, the tool, right? And so I thought he did a brilliant job of of explaining. And that was a great great opportunity for me to expand my awareness. 
Because once we expand our awareness, then we have the ability to seek the knowledge we need and the tools we need in order to get us to where we desire to be. And so to me, this is one of those foundational tools that as these discussions keep going, it expands that awareness and this tool can help us gain the knowledge and the, for lack of a better term, the action steps really uh, to make the shift so that instead of I am not happy with myself, one can confidently say I am happy with myself. Such a good way to come at this. So thank you for sharing that. And 100%, it's one of those things where no matter what, any tool is as useful as our execution of it too. Right. And so for Eckhart Tolle to sit for hours being willing to contemplate a single statement, that single statement is a very powerful tool to him then. And so he was willing to dive into one statement that many of us just fly past. The depth and the willingness to take a tool and hone it and utilize it to that level, I think is another key part of this. And ego plays a part in that, right? Is my time worth the investment? And we often end up feeling like, oh, our time would be better spent somewhere else, would be better spent here or there or applied in other ways outside of self. But when we start to really take this journey within and connect and understand the infinite treasures that are within, we start to recognize it's not an either or like outside is more important than in or inside is more important than out it's that and mm -hmm. it's always that coexistence and so it allows us to open up to well if it's a coexistence from inside out then isn't it a coexistence from human to non-human mm -hmm. and so all of these things are and i am my ego, I am my human, and I am my soul. I am my non-human. I am Amber. I am everything that's inside, but I am also everything that is going on in my environment because I co-created that environment. And so the power that begins to come from each of these practices and that investment that this is not what's happening outside of me is not more important than taking the time to focus inward and what's happening internally is not more important than than what is happening outside of me it's finding that balance